hopefully this will work now. Alright, so Edorex3 here, and we're going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh man, I... I want to just zoom. Zoom forward. Can I zoom? I, have, I guess I would require having a, a save, huh? How do I get back? Okay, there we go. Let's skip. Oh, wow, the skipping is real. Okay. So, this is where I got to. Um, I was playing this for a little bit. So basically, I'll give you a synopsis. 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 Synopsi. Synopsis. Alright, so start another timer now. Um, I am being introduced to the um, the literature club as a result of my childhood friend Sayori forcefully dragging me here with the threat of feeding me with cupcakes if or else. Or, wait, no, she bribed me with cupcakes, and now I'm here. And now I'm being introduced to these lovely ladies here. I'm about, okay, so, in my defense, and this is this is in the story, I wanted to join the anime club, but unfortunately this game is called the Doki Doki Literature Club, not the Doki Doki Anime Club, so I'm just gonna sit here and be pouty in the corner. Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> ah, Adder, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Yep. We got the uh, purple girl who has uh, purple hair and purple eyes. We have pink girl who has uh, pink hair and pink eyes. And then we have, I would say, a dirty blonde with bright green eyes. I like blondes. <laughs> what are you looking at? I was looking at the girl with the bright green eyes. If you if you want to say something, say it. Hmm. Sorry. 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 I'm going with sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and turns back towards the other girls. Okay. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comfortably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Suki. Oh well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to meet you again, Adder. Monica smiles sweetly. That's quite the smile. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> Having her smile at me so genuinely makes it feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Feels pretty good. Oh, I'll finish that line of thought. Feels pretty good. Come sit down, Edder. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Thank you, Natsuki. Sorry, I got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? That sounds lovely. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widely widened. So there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki, Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. It's kind of open to begin with. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes. Decorated to look like little cats. She looks quite pleased with herself as well. And Shuri is kind of just dumbstruck. Actually, Monica kind of looks kind of dumbstruck too. <laughs> the whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. That's really cute. 
<laughs> so cute. I couldn't have said it better myself. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Well, you know. That smile. Oh, she has the one tooth, too. <laughs> she smiles with one fang. She grabs one first, then Monica and I follow. Delicious. So you're touched with her mouthful, and it's already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Are you gonna are you gonna take a bite or are you just gonna look at it, man? What's going on? Are you just look at my cupcake. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Just take a bite, man. Take a bite. Take a bite. Come on, do it. Do it. <laughs> I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What? Why are you thanking me? It's not like I. I'm a sunderer. Sunderer. Sundere? Sunderar. Ah! Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Yes. Every anime anywhere. <laughs> Not like I made them for you or anything. Kickster. <laughs> I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. Yep. I think that's Sundere. Sundere? Sundere. Sundere. I can't pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce that word. And you can't make me pronounce it right either. But not for you, you know, you dummy. All right, all right. I've up on up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. I'm cold, totally not in an anime world or anything, you know, where the girls are just kind of always into me, but not really clear about it. He return, returns to the table carrying a tea set. He carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole lot of tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? That is very true. There is no arguing with that logic. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's not... Tilted Yuri looks away. I, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I like Yuri. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Yep, I am the male lead in my very own um, harem anime. <laughs> what made you consider the literature club? Well, you know, the anime club was a no-go, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna have a harem either way, so might as well be with the literature club, right? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I am surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Now, that is a fair point. I, I enjoy playing games, and so I make videos. I'm not in it for the money or anything else, because... Let's face it, I have 20 subs. I'm not making anything off that. <laughs> but no, it's a nice sentiment. And, uh, you know, I can, um, I can relate to that. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I am filling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Three also nods in agreement. And I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It'd be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, this is a this is an interesting aside. I'm going to share something about myself. I, um, I was in the chess club in high school. But before I started or joined the chess club, there was no chess club. 
I was one of the founding members at uh, the school I went to. And that was exciting. It was very exciting to start up a new club. Because you start with just a couple dedicated people. And that's, that's how it starts. You get a couple dedicated people together working towards a common goal. And we had to like abide by all the different stuff that was required by the school, by the other club, you know, the club council and all, all that fun stuff. And eventually we brought ourselves up and we were a big fair club. And we weren't really um, like out there recruiting, but you know, we just kind of would let people, during big events, we'd let people know we were there. Because honestly, what we, basically we just wanted to just uh, have a place to hang out and play chess. And that is what we succeeded in doing. We raised funds to um, purchase these cool little rubber chess boards that we could literally take anywhere. A few days, sometimes we had little events where we'd go out into the quad and we'd set up boards and invite people to join and play us, teach people how to play, you know? It was a good time. <laughs> what, what, what is going on? But anyway, um, yeah, new clubs, exciting, challenging. Fun. Um, let's see here. Back to Doki Doki. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yep. Yep. And, you know, all it takes is a few dedicated people, just like this. And before you know it, more people come in, such as my character here, who's being brought in. Not necessarily intentionally, but, you know, like, they're here. And it's exciting. Maybe that's why they're also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. No matter, what kinds of things do you like to read? Ah. Uh, I like to read things. I, I like to read things. Um, you know, with words. On pages. Um, oh. Like, um, like, how, like, how to build, uh, Pink Horrors of Zinch. <laughs> Considering how little I've read these past few years, I didn't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. That's a good answer. That's an answer I'm going to go with. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking of seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Retraces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Okay. Do they take part? Do they happen to take place in the grim dark future? <laughs> the level of creative creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling a good story is such a in a, such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. It's obvious by the way her li eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse. Immerse, immerse, not immense. I can read. I can read English, guys. Okay. Usually immense me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. It was a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at a minimal level. <laughs> That's right, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. That's me. I'm a rock. Conversing about literature, I'm a rock. Yeah, that's, that's me in real. Ah, uh, they got me figured out, guys. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some reason, someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. If a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. The real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's actually very true. Surreal anything can change your point of view, to be perfectly honest. The surreal horror is uh, definitely something. Um, it's a different point of view, and it's also something that has a strong emotional um, reaction. So you're scared, but you're also thinking. Interesting. 
Sorry, that was my own aside. I, I'm gonna do that a lot because this is this is basically what is it a visual novel? So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I think my commentary is gonna flow a little bit more readily than in other playthroughs where I'm actually trying to play the game and survive. But Natsuki, why do you hate horror? Why is that? I just Natsuki eyes dark over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap behind paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. Don't Say It Out Loud. A poem by Natsuki. <laughs> Looks like that's it for this episode. All right. I'm going to I'm going to keep playing, but um I'm going to cut and I'm gonna episode end. Ooh, magic, magic, digital, magic, episode, ooh, more videos, more on this list. Shh. <laughs> Matter X thing, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> All day.